Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, it's the beginning of the month, which means we have a full face of first impressions. I am not in love with the face right now. There is quite a bit here that I'm not loving. So if you guys wanna see how we got here, what products are hits, what are misses, and what I think I'm never gonna use again, make sure to keep on watching and please don't forget to subscribe because I do upload three times a week. And that is the best way to stay up to date on all the fun stuff I'm posting. So if you wanna see how we got all this done, stay tuned. All right, so we are going to jump into our first impressions. A couple of you guys have already noticed that there seems to be a trend every single month that I film a first impressions on the same day I do my favorites and flops from the month before. So I'm jumping into a bunch of stuff um, and you guys have already seen my favorites and flops. I'm gonna link it up here. But here's the look from that video if you liked it. I honestly don't even know what it's gonna be like because I haven't tried it yet. I did already prime my eyes off camera for eyeshadow, I'm going to be trying the Wander Beauty Wanderess Rush Palette. I did get this in PR, and I thought it was a really pretty, really simple, but very fall-friendly palette. So I'm going to just try a quick little eye look out of here. You can definitely get a little more elaborate, but there's two mattes. It looks like a satin and three shimmers. So honestly, not a whole lot of versatility here, but you can definitely get a decent amount of looks out of here. So I'm gonna take OTW right up here, and off the bat, there's a lot of kick up in the pan. I think you guys can see that. And I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. If you guys are looking for a little more in-depth as far as tips and tricks into how I do my eyeshadow, or more specifically, eyeshadow for hooded eyes, I will link that up here as well. I did a full in-depth video just really focusing on the techniques so that I have very hooded eyes, and if you do too, you will be able to get your eyeshadow to be visible even when your eyes are open, which for me was a very long learning curve. So on the eyes, this shade does tend to go a little mauve-y. In the pan, it looks a whole lot more cool toned, and it definitely is super smooth and buttery, but I'm getting a lot of payoff, which I like. I'm going to take Swift, which is more of a chocolate brown, on a flat packer brush. And I'm going to take that and load it up on the outer portion of the eye. I'm getting some beautiful definition. The pigmentation is quite nice. And they're blending into each other seamlessly. Like it's almost doing the work for me. Normally I would have had to have like gone in 10 different times to blend and build and buff and blend. And that's like super easy, a little smoky, definitely something I like. I'm gonna take a bit more of that Swift shade and just kind of build it towards the center of the lid just to add some definition. You guys are seeing the tutorial for this. I believe it's going up on November 1st, which means when I'm filming it, it is still October. So I'm still feeling the spooky season vibes, grungy and smoky forever. On a softer brush, I'm gonna take Charge, which is like a satin shimmer shade. And I'm going to take that just to highlight the brow bone. Ooh, that's actually quite nice. Definitely not satin. It is a full-on metallic. My mistake. So I'm actually probably going to end up taking that same shade on the inner corner. You see how blinding that is? In the pan, these seem to be working more like creams, but they are definitely powders. For the lid shade, I'm going to take Avenue, which is like an old gold, almost like an olive type gold. And I'm going to load that up on a flat packer brush. And nope, I have a first impression setting spray. I'm going to be playing with the Photo Finish Setting Spray from Smashbox today. So I'm going to take this and wet my shadow. So on camera, this is definitely not reading as metallic. In person, I'm definitely getting full on shimmery glitter vibes. So 
definitely going on beautifully. There's not a lot of sparkle. It is a true metallic where everything is just super shiny. It's definitely olivey and smoky and to be honest, exactly what I wanted for today. All right, we are a little grungy and a little olivey and a little smoky. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna prime the skin, do the skin and finish up the eyes later. For primer, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control Primer. I tried a sample of this a while back. When it first came out, I got a sample from Sephora and I remember really liking it, but again, I only used it like one or two times. So we're going to try it again. I do remember liking it enough to get it, but I don't remember if that was before my oil control mattifier from Murad, which keeps me super shine free all day long, or if it was something that I used before it and the Murad was better. So we shall see. For foundation, this is from Milk Makeup. This is the Flex Foundation Stick in the shade Vanilla. I hope this is my shade. I'm going to just... That looks pretty good. Uh, with stick foundations, I don't like to like draw all over my face. I like to kind of do tiger stripes and little dots and then blend it everywhere. The only place I really build it up off the gate is the nose, just because I feel like that's what you need. And I'm gonna grab a flat top kabuki brush. This is the Sigma F80, and I am going to buff that into the skin. Uh, right off the bat, the coverage is nice. It is definitely a good color match for me. I'm getting more of a medium-ish coverage. I can still see some pigmentation coming through. I do have three breakouts going on on my face. I recently tried a new serum, which you guys are gonna see in the favorites and flops video. So if you didn't already watch that, again, I did link that above, which Inception, I haven't actually filmed it yet. I'm gonna film it later tonight. Anyway, um, it's not an allergic reaction. It is not contact dermatitis. I'm not having a bad reaction to the product. I am just having an issue where my skin is purging because of the niacinamide, which is actually pretty common when you start a serum that is that potent. I'm gonna take a touch more foundation because I definitely blended it away on my nose and that is not desirable. And you guys know the drill, apply with a brush, finesse with a sponge. So I am gonna grab a wet beauty blender, make sure it is not soaking wet, and just press everything in. So I'm still getting a little bit of breakdown on the nose, so hopefully the concealer can fix that. Also from Wander Beauty, this is the Dualist Matte and Illuminating Concealer. So supposedly this is going to be a two-sided concealer. On one side there is a matte stick on the other side there is a cream this is the shade light again i did get this in pr so if it doesn't match me sucks for me i am going to take the matte side and i'm going to focus that down the bridge of the nose and i'm going to add a little bit of this just because the foundation didn't stick i'm going to take a little bit of this basically anywhere i want to brighten that I do tend to get oily. And then flipping it around to the other side, I'm gonna focus the illuminating on the under eye area where I don't really get super oily, but more importantly, I don't want it to be super dry on the face because that'll just accentuate any texture. So that concealer actually fixed whatever was messed up on my nose. That is probably a good thing to keep on hand if I run into that issue again with the foundation kind of sitting weird on my nose. So I went in with a light hand and I kind of want a little more on the side of the nose. So I am gonna just take a little bit more of the illuminating side and just focus that 
a little bit more in on the nose just because we did have an issue with that concealer kind of bouncing around and lifting off of the nose not the concealer I'm sorry the foundation so we're gonna take that concealer just to hopefully lock that in and fix it so up close there are definitely some teeny tiny shimmer particles so if you are not a fan of shimmer in your concealer you might not love that but I'm gonna take a little of my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finishing powder and just set down that concealer I thought I had a first impressions powder to use and honestly I don't see it anywhere on my desk so I'm just setting down the concealer I'm not setting down the cheeks because I'm gonna be using a cream blush today so before I jump into the cream blush, I am going to finish the eyes. So I'm gonna take a pencil brush and that dark brown again, and just run that on the lower lash line. And I'm really concentrating that just on the outermost portion of the eye. I know that looks intense, don't worry, we will soften it. I'm gonna take the lighter shade on that brush from earlier, the flat one, and I'm just going to soften that dark brown and then blend towards the inner corner. Definitely a little grungy, but I don't mind. I'm gonna grab a black liner. This is the Sephora Collection Waterproof Eye Crayon 24 Hour. 24 hour, did I read that right? 12 hour, it is in the shade black. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of this into the waterline. I would do my makeup at 8.30 at night and throw a long wearing waterproof liner in just so that I have to fight to take it off in an hour and a half. That one on super creamy, I am just going to blend the powder into that liner just to add that black. Make sure everything cools off a little bit. That is super grungy and super thematic for it still being the last week of October. I am gonna also baby brush. I'm gonna take that shade we used on the brow bone charge and I'm gonna hit up the inner corner. It has been so long since I did a truly blinding inner corner. So I don't have a new mascara, so I'm gonna go throw on Mascara off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so mascara is on and I'm still in love with the way this eye looks But the face is looking super pale So we're gonna get some blush on and then add some dimension. So this is from bare minerals. It is the bounce and blur mauve sunrise uh, blush, it's like a weird Bounce is the only way to really talk about it. It is almost like a putty so I'm gonna grab where's my beauty blender I'm gonna grab the Beauty Blender and I'm gonna use the base of it. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this blush. That's subtle. I think that's subtle. Oh no, that's not subtle, I see that. Okay, um, as you guys know, I don't love cream blushes, but I was told that this one was different. And honestly, it is applying pretty much like every cream blush I've ever applied which is to say that I don't love it. That sucks, okay. Um, the color's not bad, but it is definitely a cream blush. So the blush is gonna be a pass from me. I am going to grab, what am I gonna do? I don't have bronzer or powder blush or highlight. I'm gonna use the Wander palette for highlight. So I'm gonna grab my Tarte blush book. You guys know I love this. And I'm going to use the bronzer shade out of here just to add some warmth to the skin. That looks so much better already. I uh, was looking pretty pasty and pretty pale, especially for how stark in comparison the eyes were to a bare blank face. All right, to highlight, I'm gonna go into that same shade we used on the inner corner, which is an eyeshadow. But, yup, as expected, beautiful and blinding on the cheeks. So I do have two options for brows. I have the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil, 
And I have the Benefit Brow Styler, which is like a powder and pencil in one. Um, the pencil side is more of like a thick brow. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to use both. I'm going to do the thin pencil from the uh, Hourglass and then the powder from the Benefit. Another long wear waterproof product that I'm applying an hour before bed. So I'm just going to take the hourglass just to kind of shape the brow. And then I'll take the powder to really fill it in. See, just lightly defining a little bit. Is it worth the 30 something dollar price point? I mean, maybe. It went on pretty. I'm going to take the brow styler. Uh, in the hourglass, I was wearing or tried the shade Ash. In the brow styler, this is the shade 3.5. And I'm hoping that this is not ridiculously pigmented. Oh, damn. It kind of is. So... That's going on quite intense, actually. I'm not mad at it. I feel like these powder is making the brow super soft. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, if you guys can see. So hopefully, with a spoolie, that just kind of blends right away. Oh, yeah, blends right away. So I'm just going to soften the powder in the brow a little bit. I really like that effect though. It doesn't look any overly manicured, but it still looks like it's nice and filled and yeah, I kind of like that. All right, for lip, I have two products. I've got a lip oil and I've got a liquid lipstick. The lip oil is the Lip Retreat Oil from Wander Beauty in the shade Skinny Dip. And, oh, it's a wand. Okay, even better. So I'm going to take... Okay, so this is more of like a gloss. But it's super lightweight, not a lot of pigment. Definitely more on the comfort comfortable side. Not a shade I would pair with these eyes. I'm going to go in with a red. This is from Dior. This is the Ultra Care Lipstick in the shade 786. And that is a whipped matte. It's actually more of like a mauve. Definitely not a color I typically wear. Super comfortable, but definitely bleeding. Like I went pretty tight to my lip line and it's already kind of bled everywhere. So I'm gonna go quickly clean this up and I'll be right back. All right, so the formula on this is really comfortable and I think it's my fault. I think the balm I put underneath is causing the lipstick to bleed, so I'm gonna have to try that separately. But I am gonna grab that setting spray one more time, the Photo Finish from Smashbox, and just set the face down. All right, so final thoughts. Um, complexion I think looks really nice. I need to try the lips separately because I don't love the way they're looking now. The eyeshadow performed beautifully. On camera, it's actually looking a little muddy. But in person, I can really differentiate between the browns and the greens. So I don't know if that's like a lighting thing or whatnot, but we'll have to figure that out. Uh, the only thing that's standing out as like a huge hit for me is probably the concealer. Anything else? I mean, I liked the eyeshadow palette. I did like the primer. That went on really nice. Hmm. The brows. I know normally brows for me are like whatever, but I really liked it. I think this combo was quite nice. I'm going to have to play with the pencil on this, which if it's the Benefit pro uh, product, don't really love their pencils, but I really do like this powder. But as far as misses, the foundation basically sloughed off of my nose entirely. Like even the concealer fixed most of it, but there are still places where the foundation just decided it didn't want to stay. The lip combo obviously is a pass for me. I am going to try them separately. I feel like I would like the Lip Retreat Oil, but the lipstick is a pass. I really did like the liner, all things considered, but the blush, not for me. So that's going to be a pass. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know 
What did you like? What do you think you're going to try? And what should I definitely throw away and never wear again? Because please be honest with me. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.